My show and tell for today is this amazing hover card effect from Twitch. If you spent that last sentence stressing about how to make it, don't worry, I've already gone to the trouble of reverse engineering it so you don't have to. The first thing we need is a div for the card. We'll give it a solid border, set its width using the V min unit so it's responsive, and set its aspect ratio so that it maintains the correct proportions. We're going to put the gradient in the before pseudo element, which will be the same size as the card and positioned absolutely on top of it. It'll be an angled gradient with the first third being transparent and the remaining two thirds split between our three gradient colors. By setting the gradient size to 300% and its position to zero, we can shift it off the card entirely by default. Then on hover, we'll shift the background position over so the gradient becomes visible again. By setting a transition time on the background position property, we can ensure it slides in smoothly. Finally, we'll scale the gradient size up on hover to make it really pop out. With that out of the way, we can move on to the card's content. Let's add another div and set its size equal to that of the card. Using a radial gradient background in conjunction with the background position and size properties, we can easily decorate our card with a dotted grid. By setting a transition time on the background position property and shifting it to the left on hover, we get a sweet background effect for very little effort at all. The final step is adding the titles. We'll use an H3 for the title and an H4 for the subtitle. We'll style them a bit more appropriately with a better color and font family, and then scale up the sizes as well. Let's add some padding to our content div and adjust the height and width accordingly. Now, the next step certainly could be accomplished with CSS only, but since I'm lazy, I'm going to use JavaScript instead. Let's store our subtitle in a variable and then create a few functions to help make our lives easier. In the first function, we're going to take in a string and an index, and from that, generate a span tag with a class name. In the next function, we'll take the span tag and put it inside of our subtitle element. In the last function, we'll take in a sentence and split it into an array using an empty space as our divider. Finally, we'll call the create subtitle function, passing in our sentence, and now our subtitle is back, but each word is wrapped in its own span tag. Now by default, a span tag has a display of inline, but unfortunately, we can't perform a transform on this display value, so we'll set it to inline block instead. Since this messes with our sentence spacing, we'll add a margin to each span as well. By default, we want the Y position of our words to be shifted downward, and our transition value set to none. Then on hover, we'll remove the Y transform and set its transition value to 200 milliseconds. Let's set the opacity to one on hover, and set it to zero by default. Now our subtitle words slide in, but they aren't staggered. To fix this, we'll add a transition delay to each word by multiplying its current index by 40 milliseconds. This looks pretty good, but we're not quite there. First, let's change the timing function on our transition to a cubic bezier so the words really jump in. Finally, you'll notice the positional stagger is working, but all the words appear at the same time. This is because the transition delay isn't being applied to the opacity. To fix this, we'll set a transition time of zero milliseconds, which is all we need to get the delay to be honored. And with that, our obscenely vibrant gradient hover card effect is complete. Let me know how close you think I got in the comments, and if you want to see an even crazier hover effect, I'd recommend checking out this video next.